80% of the reasons people have poor punts is because of their drop. This is why it's extremely crucial that we have multiple drills that are designed to create more consistency with your drop so that your consistency rises with actually punting. And here's a couple of things I wanna start out with. If you're a right footed punter, and let's pretend the ball is sitting on a clock. The first thing I like all of our punters to have is a flat drop. It's nice and flat, okay? You could play with the nose and put it down slightly, but I would say never put it up. Secondly is, if it's sitting on the clock, this is 12, this is six, I'm gonna turn the nose to 11 o'clock. This way it removes the back of the ball and allows my foot to come up through the sweet spot. That slight turn is extremely important for your foot coming up and through the ball, maximizing power. If we keep that ball straight and hit it, we're gonna have a lot of trouble hitting the back of the ball. We're not gonna get the consistency we want. And obviously if you're left footed, you're just gonna turn the ball to one o'clock, turning it slightly in. The second key for the drop is that we're leaving it up for our foot. Too many times when we drop, guys are pushing the ball down. We wanna leave the ball up there on a shelf and bring our foot up to the ball. We don't wanna bring our ball down to our foot. So here it's extremely important that when we take our steps, the ball's already set. Notice my nose is in. It can be slightly down if that's what you're comfortable with. And our drop should land flat right on the line. As it hits the line, you should be able to see visually it turned in. Because we're on a line, our foot is actually gonna come up through the ball there. So the line represents our foot. That's why we do so many punting drills on a line. They're extremely important to create consistency. So notice the second part of the drop, okay, and I'm gonna go to a one knee drop, which is one of our key drills, is that ball should bounce up or back slightly. The reason is we never want it to bounce forward because that means the, bat, the nose is up and it will roll forward. We always want it flat, or nose slightly down so we can drive through the sweet spot. So notice where Oscar, who's a left-footed division one punter, carries his shelf. He's a little bit higher than his waist, about handshake level, like we said. He likes his ball flat, turned in slightly with the nose just a touch down. And what I want you to focus on is he has more of an underneath grip. He likes the laces to the side a little bit more, which is perfectly fine. But notice, whenever he makes contact with that ball, the way it comes out of his hand is the way it is when it hits his foot. There's little to no movement out of his hand. You're already moving forward. And then on top of that, you're trying to set a ball out. If you have that ball move at all, you're just adding to the difficulty of the punt. The more you can keep that ball perfectly still, like Oscar is doing here, the more success you're going to have. So Brian's a right-footed punter, starts with his right foot forward, and he carries the ball a little bit lower, a little bit lower. But notice when it comes out of his hand, the ball is slightly turned in and slightly down. The laces are to the side. He has more of a handshake grip, <clears throat> but the way the ball comes out of his hand to when it hits his foot is exact same frame by frame. The less movement, the more success, the more consistency you'll have as a punter. Here's a look at another punt drop from Brian coming out of his hand, perfectly steel. The nose is slightly down, turned in, but perfectly steel so he can see the sweet spot and drive up and through it. So Colton, he's a left footed division one punter. He actually carries his drop a little bit higher. So if you we pause it right there before his right hand comes off the ball, you can see it's almost chest level. He can get away with the higher drop and actually increase his hang time because his flexibility is so good. He can extend so much higher. Notice when the ball comes out of his hand, he has it turned in slightly. It's a little bit flatter than the other two, but it's still right over the path of where his punning foot is going to be so he can drive up and through that sweet spot <clears throat> the biggest key for him and any punter is that the ball ends up at the same spot at the same height every time whenever colton's dropping in here the ball is pointed slightly and he's left footed so the ball is pointed at one o'clock whereas the right footed punters it's pointed at 11 o'clock a lot of inconsistent punters the nose actually points in too much or it stays too straight where you're not able to hit the sweet spot and you end up hitting the back of the ball. The second issue is the punt doesn't end up exactly in the path of where 
the punt swing is going to take place. So the punter has to adjust to the drop. We want to get the drop in the same spot every time so that we can maximize our power and our distance through our punt swing.